Hey guys, welcome back to the Creative Restoration Channel. I'm Doug Giles. As many of you may remember from the Alan Edmonds giveaway update, actually the announcement of the winner, um, I had a couple of projects that were up in the pipelines that I was planning on doing. One of them was the passport covers out of the Horween football leather. And that's what this video is. So, why don't you guys stick around with me and watch exactly how I do it. So we'll start off with our leather and cut ourselves a straight, e straight edge using our trusty Dexter knife. Now, I had previously gone in and cut out the green football leather ahead of time, and I'll use that as my guide for how tall to make the covers. So we'll get that marked out and get ourselves it, get it cut. Now I'm not using a pattern to make these covers. So everything is kind of done on the fly. And since I'm not using a pattern, I'm having to have to judge everything. So just by eye. So I stick the uh, passport on there and kind of flip it over and just kind of eyeball how, how far do I need to, to go with this so that it sets so that it sets in there and it's not too big, not too small. Made sure to give myself a little bit of excess. And I found that on the brown one, once everything was all said and done, it was I actually made it about three eighths of an inch too long. So I adjusted that on the green one. So we got our top part of the cover made, got it cut out and we'll use that uh, as our basis for the inside portion of the cover. Mark where that goes. And I really like using the, the grid lines on those cutting pads that I have underneath. I'll, I use those to keep everything nice and square. So once we've got that done, I'm going to find my center of the inside cover. And that's where I'm going to put the slot that the passport will actually fit into. So I'll find my center and I'll mark the hole. I'm sorry, not the hole, but I'll find my center and mark out exactly where I want the hole to be that the passport will actually fit into. And mark out exactly how tall it needs to be for the passport to fit into. And from there, we'll go ahead and I'll punch out some holes on the edges. We'll get the top and the bottom, and then we'll go ahead and connect those holes by cutting from one hole to the other. Catch one side and then the other. And voila, there we go. So once we've got that, we need to make our card holder. So I grab my trusty Costco card, which happens to be the exact same size as my driver's license, and I'm going to mark it the exact same height. That way, once I put the stitches in, it should cause the card to stay above the top of the card holder by about 3 sixteenths of an inch. So we'll get that cut, and I'm going to give myself about 3 eighths of an inch excess, since we are given about 3 sixteenths on the bottom, I need about 3 eighths, which it ends up being 3 sixteenths on either side. And then we'll cut out a slot for your thumb to get a little bit more purchase on the card when pulling it out. Trim that up on both sides, and then we'll move on over to the Skyver. I love this machine. The work that this machine does, it, it saves me so much time. In less than a second, it'll trim away the bottom, the underside of the leather. And just this one piece right here, just, just, just doing this would have taken me at least half an hour to do it and I wouldn't have gotten those kind of results. Not only that, I can do both of these pieces. I'm going to do the inside portion and I did the card holder in a matter of seconds. Now 
Now I didn't want to do the top because I wanted the wanted the card hold or the passport holder to have at least a little bit of bulk around the edges, but without being too much. If I would have if I would have skived the top, it would have ended up being too thin around the edges. And if I hadn't skived them at all, it would have been way too thick. So skiving just the underside worked out perfectly. So we'll place where we need to put the card, the card holder, and rough up the leather itself in preparation for glue. And I use barge glue for this. And we'll get that painted into the to that, that section and then paint our edges of the card holder with barge glue. Let it tack up for about 30 minutes and then we'll press the pieces together. It's a two-part contact cement, an industrial contact cement. So we get that put together and then we'll get it sewn up. And like I said, I'm giving myself about 3 sixteenths of an inch all the way around. Anywhere between an eighth and 3 sixteenths of an inch as a seam allowance for the stitching. Now the stitches that I'm doing here, it's relatively tight stitches. I'm doing somewhere between 8 and 10 uh, stitches per inch which makes for a nice fine looking product after everything's all said and done. So now that we've got the card holder in, we'll go ahead and glue up the inside leather to the outside leather. Get that one done. We've got both of them done. Give it about 30 minutes to set up again and carefully place the two of them together. Now you've got to forgive me here because when I built my shop, I didn't anticipate doing a lot of YouTube videos, so I didn't really have a place to put my camera. And all the little bit of bouncing around here is is the camera shaking as I'm as I'm tapping tapping this down. Hopefully, I'll figure out a better way of shooting this video, these videos when I have to do that. So once that's tapped down, we'll go ahead and sew the inside to the outside. Again, using the same 8 to 10 stitches per inch. There we go. And then we'll bevel the edges all the way around. We'll do inside and outside. We sand it, which I skipped, and then we'll go ahead and burnish the edges. That's just a little bit of water that I use along with my slicking tool and we're going to use brown edge coat around the edges on here. And as you've seen before, I usually take my dauber and I will singe the outside of it to get rid of all those extra little fuzzy bits. Once I've got that, I'll go ahead and do my edges and let it dry. And there's the final passports, passport covers. Now these are going to be available for sale. You can contact me at Doug at ImperialLaRosia.com. I'll be selling these for $80 each plus $3 shipping and handling anywhere within the United States. Uh, obviously, if you live outside of the U.S., the price for the passport covers themselves will still be the same. Shipping would be a bit more, and that's based on where you live. So I hope you like the, in the video. As always, like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the bell notification so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. Thanks for watching.